corruption has permeated all aspects of the society to the extent that it is normalized and citizens, businesses, and public entities even nowadays factor it into their daily expenses and budgets. The evidence and painful impacts are costly and out there for everyone to see. You can see poor quality infrastructure, you can see insufficient health services, you can see inadequate social security systems, you can see unplanned, stalled and abandoned projects, you can see phantom, phantom projects that exist only on paper or in people's minds. Money has been spent, there is nothing on the ground. Money has been spent, the infrastructure is not functional. Money has been spent and you get inadequate social security system. We have to act. And it will not be possible for one arm of government to do it. All of us have to come together. So realizing that corruption is the biggest impediment to achievement of our national goals and aspirations, is excellent the president, as in the recent past, issued a proclamation on the fight against corruption, stating categorically that he will not tolerate corruption in the public service and that he would lead the war on corruption personally. He, section the president, has continued to emphatically speak against the vice and assure the members of the public that their taxes will not be used corruptly and no one will be allowed to jeopardize service delivery by running away with taxpayers' money. You can see in other countries a small mishap in an institution. Somebody takes a responsibility and resigns and goes home. But in Kenya, somebody will move in quickly to judiciary to get an injunction or to be typed in the office and he has squandered the money. However much parliament does, the person is still walking around, making more money, going around bribing now the entire system for him to remain. Where did we lose? We need to change. Somebody has to work out if there is reason to doubt that things are not working. There is agency for all individuals, offices, and institutions charged with management of public resources to act and stem this tide of corruption and mismanagement. History will judge us very harshly if we do not act now. In a world that has become so interconnected with unprecedented competition for resources, we run the risk of sabotaging our own development and the well-being of future generations. So the vision of his the president is to run a government that is fully grounded on the rule of law and where all the constitutional provisions guiding decision making in the public service are observed by all the public and state officers. This heavy responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, of managing the resources and affairs of the citizens have been given with utmost trust and humility on the part of the people. It is instructive, therefore, that the people expect to see well-integrated, timely, and efficient delivery of service, services regardless of our individual mandates. Therefore, consultations, collaboration, and cooperation among the arms of government becomes of essence.